Sean! There you're there. More water of life for the survivors. First, he let them go. They'll be dead in no time on this cursed island. It wasn't his home anymore. He was someone else. I want the TV! I want them right here now! Why don't you go join your pal over there? Uncle Fraser wants to have a word with you too. <laughs> the captain prince morgan now drop it see when i saw yours something clicked charlie tell monica it's my fault you missed your bedtime story <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. so he goes he takes nothing when he leaves and he hits the road wandering First thing you'll do is you'll shut up to your spoken to. The name's Dylan! I work at the dockyard, right? Yeah, I reckon he's got a pack of divers. Just shut up and drop the blade, wench. You did! I see we just kill them all. Starting first with a little blue blood. Well, I'm not into that usual guy stuff, Terry. I just want to get inside you. Outside. He leaves a key in the lock and a door wide open. How'd you get the money? It landed on me. What? You know what I find? I find this piece of shit here. <gasps> what the fuck do you think you're playing out, you mad bitch? I get all the proof I need. The stars are Not bad for a wench. on a purpose in life. How many men these days have one of those? Or should I say, what'd you do with the rest of the money? I assume that your bank offers extremely low interest rates. I'm sorry, Terry, but it's true. This mad bitch is my sister-in-law. See, my wife and I don't share the same sexual appetite. Tells me you're gonna get my big foot if you don't shut your big mouth. Witness hell. I was thinking you had it under the bed. So I scour the papers looking for cheap tarts that'll do it any which way. Then I found you. Oh, now I'll we'll have your head for breakfast, lad. You don't want to know who I am, Eva. I tell stories because my life's not entertaining enough. You two have been very busy. This son of a bitch is going for a swim in his own fucking pool. No, I mean, I thought my search for a cheap ride was over. Somebody ought to cork your gullet, keep you out of trouble for a while, see I. Now let's go, you luck. I believe you. That's because you're innocent, you can believe in something good. And I've got 17 big reasons why my boss will want to see you both.